which is the Japanese equivalent of Walmart or Costco or IKEA, has opened its first outlet in India. CNBC TV 18's Priya Shet and Kritika Saxena map out Muji's expansion strategy. Clothes, stationery, homeware. All items that you see on these shelves have one thing in common. They have no brand and that's typical of popular Japanese retailer Muji which has just set foot in India. This outlet which is about 2500 square feet in area is smaller than an average Muji store but it's still got over 12 product categories that a customer can choose from. The store itself resonates Japanese philosophy, minimalism with smart design. This beat of drums marks parent company Ryohin Kikaku's push to expand the Japanese retail chain's global footprint. Not surprisingly, growth expectations from India are huge. India market has a huge potential. Now, our overseas sales ratio over 35.5 in the total Muji sales and overseas occupied 35.5 percent of the total sales. In the future, uh, Indian ratio is growing up. I have the confidence, but uh, to date, I cannot actually figure, say, actually figure. What is the kind of e-commerce strategy that you are going to follow? Yeah, yeah. Online is a very key for our business, but and, uh, even if Japan, online ratio nearly 7%, even if Japan, I don't know the Indian market, I need Reliance help to Bro. set up the online business. Muji has entered India through a joint venture with Reliance Brands. And Matsuzaki is confident that India will significantly push the group's non-Japanese revenues beyond the current 35 to 5%. Now neither partner is talking numbers in terms of investments or revenue expectations. But they are confident growth trajectory will make adding three more stores in cities like Bangalore and Delhi over the next 12 months a sound business proposition. The India inflection point in that big way will happen. And when that inflection point happens, both partners, we are just ready to roll. Investment for companies like Muji and Reliance is a bandwidth of investment. Mm. Okay, so what I can tell you is for our first store opening, mm. okay, there are 30 people from Muji in Bombay just now as we talk. Interestingly, prices will not be marked down for the Indian market and will be priced at par with that in other Asian countries like Singapore. Also, while only organic cotton is sourced from India, Muji says it will look at manufacturing in India in the medium to long term. In Mumbai with Priya Shet, Kritika Saxena.